I'm coming out to the church in Nokia. A lot of people know. Wonder where Simba has been. Some of y'all thought I was dead. And you Twittered and you texted without even asking nobody. Just passed a lie around the world. Y'all read in the paper, y'all seen on the news about the tax problems I ain't trying to hide. Sometimes you owe money and you got to go undercover. Deep, 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 deep. It's not my fault. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to you. It can happen to you. It can happen to you. But it didn't. It happened to me. But I'm going to say this, I ain't hiding no more. I ain't hiding, man, I ain't hiding no more. I went to my spiritual advisor, Prince. Yes, the Church of the Royal Madness. As I put my tithe in the plate, I said, Prince, what should I do? Boy, then play the drum and play them loud. Very expensive song, that's all I had. I want to apologize, that's all I had in the budget. I'm sorry, that's all I got. I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to get off stage for the union rules. It's my, I apologize. Times are hard, I'm trying to get black folks working. I'm tired, I'm sorry. Just unplug, please, unplug the leave, please, thank you. Just speak, please leave. Thank you so much. Give it up for my band here. Yo, all right. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. Ready here for a Comedy Central tape. Comedy Central. How y'all doing? What's up, man? How y'all doing in Baffin? Man. Woo! It's been, about, it's been about what? 10, 10, 15, 10? 10 years? You know, and, they have, and I'm, people say, Simba, where you been? I'm like, where y'all been? I've been working. I'm working. I'm trying to make money. Pay my bills, man. It's crazy. You know, I look, I look right now. I mean, I'm, I just want to get some things out so people, there's things that people don't know about me. I'm under stress. <laughs> they killed me on Wikipedia, they killed me. And I didn't stay dead long enough to sell no DVDs. I didn't stay dead long enough. I was too stupid, I should've stayed low. I should've laid low. I could've been gone for a year, I'd've made money. And then I'd have risen from the dead, I'd have been in Europe. I'd have been European. I could've been like Vin Diesel. They don't know he's black. That's why he gets to work, they don't know. Because I want to deal with all that right now. We got a black president, we got Barack Obama, we have a black president. We have this, and we need to deal with the whole situation. But the world's going crazy. You got people mad that we got a black president, but he's half white. We claimed our half, y'all get yours. <laughs> There's some for everybody. He got some for everybody. Why y'all mad? He's for everybody. He's, ev he's everybody. It's never going to get better than this. This is the best black man we're going to find. There are no more. There are no black men raised in Kansas and Hawaii. That's the last one. Y'all better treat this one right. The next one gonna be from Cleveland. He gonna wear a perm. Then you gonna see what it's really like. Healthcare gonna go through like this, like this. <laughs> see, Barack got some about him. He got some about him. That's why I can see the mix. Cause even black people, see, I gotta tell white people, when he first was running, we were like this. What, what is? We didn't know either. We didn't know. We were texting. You know him? I ain't never seen his brother. And then I realized that he's going to win because he's calm. See, if a black man from Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, L.A., he would have come out in one of the debates. What'd you, what'd you say?
it would have come out, it would have popped out. But they couldn't shake it. Be like, wait, wait, John, John, John. Wait, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm like, hit him, hit him, Barack. You got a name like Barack Obama, you're supposed to fight. Barack Obama, I need him, he's not hitting. Barack Obama, Barack Obama. In 15 rounds, Barack Obama. There's a throw down. <laughs> come on in late, my people. My people, come on in late, come on. Ain't got a front row seat, come on late, front row seat. See, we got a black president, but everything didn't change. <laughs> we're keeping it real, we're keeping it real, we're keeping it. Ooh, somebody stole your seat, look at that! <laughs> they still in seats! Wait a minute, how did three people leave? One person came. Y'all were tripled up on the seat? Times are tight. We don't buy one seat, walk in real close. Help, I, need, I want to help people tonight. I want to reveal truth tonight. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to deal with it. First of all, all my life you deal with being, let's get with it, the, being the high yellow, high yellow brother, high yellow, high yellow, high yellow, melanin, you so yellow, you so light, you so light, you, I thought you was white. You did. I'm right here in your neighborhood. My plans are black, but you thought I was white. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy how, how that, and then I didn't get the advantage of being high yellow. I didn't get green eyes. I didn't get the wavy hair. I got jack. I was just light black with nappy hair. I ain't get, I ain't get none of the texture. I ain't get the texture. I could have been Cuban. I could have played Cuban. I can't even fake that. I'm just almost albino. I want to do all this stuff. I'm keeping it real. Everybody talking about keeping it real. That's a whole new thing. Everybody keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. What's keeping it real? Most times somebody say keep it real. Run from that person. Run. Get away from them. Because, you know, keeping it real, you just do the right thing. Everybody, now, everybody hood. I'm from the hood. I'm the hood. I'm the hood. I'm the hood. What does that mean? Everybody from the hood. Everybody. The hood, the move no whip. The, the valley. The valley's the hood now. I'm from the hood. I'm hood. Calabasas. West, west side. West, 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 west. Woo. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, times are tight. We're gonna see people tripping talking about recession. Look, I'm 53 years old. We've been here before. This ain't new to us. We've been broke. It's y'all in your 20s, like, what are we gonna do? My iPod. My, my iPod. I can't get the new iPod. Then sing. Learn the song and sing it. That's how you live broke. Don't be ashamed because you broke. Don't be walking around with you ashamed because you broke. People that look like they got money broke, just broke as you. Bro, they roll up on you in the car. You need a ride? Because they hope you got gas money. Why don't you ride with me? No, no, I insist. No, I insist. See, all this was not the government's fault. A lot of it was the government's fault, but we jacked up. We asked for way too much stuff. Way too much stuff. You got a job making $100 a year and bought a house for $3 million. Talk about, I don't know what happened with the payment. They changed it. The payment went up. It was a dollar a month. It was a dollar a month. And it changed after six months. <laughs> don't be stupid, man. Don't let people treat you like you're stupid. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Like that man, Bernie Madoff, took what, 500 million? I can't even say. <laughs> How do you steal 500 million and be calm? I couldn't even fake it. Woo! <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I, got... <laughs> I got your money. I, got... I can't believe y'all gave me your money. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> How do you take 500 men? I knew there were no black folks because he's still alive. <laughs> and I'm, talking, I'm not talking about 500 million black people. I gave him $1,000. I gave him a thousand, all my money. I saw people on TV. I lost everything. I lost 20 million. You, you ain't at his house. I've been outside the gate. Bernie. <laughs> I know there's some money. I'm going over the fence. You see the news. Sinbad went over the fence at Bernie Madoff's house. I'm gonna get my money back. I'm cheap. That's why I don't go to strip clubs. Lap dance. You better dance over there. I'm not here. I'm just here to listen to the music. Make it rain. I'll hit you with a quarter. <laughs> men, y'all gotta quit going to strip clubs. Men, men, go home. Go 
home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Now, I'm, I'm going to help the ladies out. Why do you think men go to strip clubs? Why do men go to strip clubs? Huh? Why do you think men go to strip clubs? I'm help. See, women, y'all don't understand the mind of a man. I'm going to help y'all tonight. Why do you think men go to strip clubs? Because a half-naked woman smile at you and say your name. But y'all don't do it at home. What do you do at home? Oh, here, 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 your daddy, your daddy here. Look who's finally here, here he come. You used to like him. Ladies, what happens once we get married? You hate us. I mean, you hate us. When we date you, you love you, love you, you love you, you. You say the same thing, but it means different things. When you date us, you show your friends, there he is, oh my God, that's him? Oh God, that's him. We married, here you go. Yeah, that's him, that's what God blessed me with. I guess God was mad at me. <laughs> Same words, different me. When you first get together, she's in the kitchen, you walk up behind her, you feel nasty. When you've been married, you're just nasty. That's just nasty. Back up, touch me again, touch me again. We say stuff we don't mean. We all say stuff we don't mean. Men say, I just want to find a good woman. Well, you got one. I mean, you will. <laughs> We all want something else other than what we have and don't realize what you got works. It works. It does work. You got to work. Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. It's like the military. My wife and I, we're together about six, seven years. We're married. We divorced for 10, 11 years. Now we're back together, married eight years. Because we're both so damaged, we can't be with nobody else. We had to come back home. Once you've been married to each other, you're trained. I'm trained. I ain't got time to train nobody else. She ain't got time to train nobody else. Everybody's jacked up. Go back to the one you had. I thought you was crazy. Everybody crazy. I know you're crazy. I can deal with your crazy. Now you men out here 55 years old trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's, look, look at the homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. She wants you to die. If you keep messing with her, you will. You want a woman that understands the signs of stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth, open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. You want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. Hey, 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 hey. Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. It's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit the hospital. I didn't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell you. I don't understand you. I had a stroke. But can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. Marriage is about growing old together. Marriage is about falling apart at the same time. That's what makes it special. You live long enough, the two of you become one good person. You become one. One can see, one can hear. One can walk, one can use their hands. You need each other. You have to go to movies together. One listens, one watches. You become a team. One got a good right hip, one got a good left hip, and you're balanced. They're so cute together. No, they fall down. They need one another. Because <laughs> see, once, once you've been with somebody so long, you just understand stuff. You have the same vision, you share glasses. You got glasses all over the house. Wait, girl, let me know. I think they're behind the stove. I always had 20-20 vision all my life. I can't see now. You know how I found out? I'm in a movie theater, and I'm the only one that goes, focus it! And usually other people join in with you. They were like, you might want to move down toward the front, Sinbad. 
So now I got them progressive glasses so I can see far at the top and I see close at the bottom. But they, they told me you can drive with it. No, you can't. You gotta learn the sweet spot. You gotta find the sweet spot. You know how many times I stop at a stop sign? Ah, it's way out there somewhere. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's right here, my bad, I'm sorry. So I want to help you ladies with questions you have. Anything you might have, some about a man that throws you off, some about your man that drives you crazy, I'll fix it in 13 seconds. You don't need no long counselings. Any woman, somebody, man, make you mad, anything, something, shout it out, shout it. Be romantic. What does that mean? You got to be specific with a man. I don't even know what you're talking about. Be romantic. What? Fix the screen door or what? <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want romance. I want romance. I want romance. What? <laughs> Hold your hand. What? Then say it. Look at your man. Hold my hand. Ah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> now you finally got what you're looking for. I want romance. I want, can you read those books? How to make love last forever. How to have romance forever. Too much work. Just say what you want. You got a man always forget your birthday? Forget that. Buy yourself a car. Look what you got me. He'll remember next year. I'll never forget your birthday again. That one cost me a lot of money. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna help. What confuses you most about women? I'll fix it. What confuses you most about women? And I'm gonna fix it for you. I'll help you understand it. That they act like nothing. You're not married, are you? Because you're talking. She ain't here, is she? Why are you talking? You ain't learned nothing. You haven't learned nothing in your life. That's why you stay in trouble. You know what she did? She did this. So you don't know what that means. You're a single man. That means this man's in trouble. He don't even understand. She did that. They're going to be in the car. What? Why you always got to say something? You asked me something. That's a man that's sleeping downstairs tonight. Look at all these men. Look at these married men sitting here. They're trying to assume the position of getting in no trouble. That's your job as a man, to get in trouble. That's your job. Your problem is you're trying not to be in trouble. Accept the trouble and be sarcastic with it. Piss them off. That's half the fun of being married. You did that on purpose. Oh, yes, I did. That's foreplay. They need to have training for husbands, men training for husbands. How to be a husband, how to talk, how to survive a day. You gotta practice, you gotta look in the mirror. What? Oh no, you gotta learn to make those faces. <laughs> Act like you're trying to speak, but don't let nothing come out. <laughs> don't say nothing, but act like you're trying to be involved. <laughs> Men are so confused. I got a son that's 20 years old, my daughter's 23. My daughter said she's trying to find a good man. I said, learn to be by yourself for a second. Don't be crying. <laughs> Look, she waved, you got a man. Why you raise your hand? She's like this. You with a man? She said, that's right. <laughs> Look what you just did. That's right, be by yourself. As you hold his hand. <laughs> what was that about? That's right, be by yourself. I'm talking about you. <laughs> now, if he had done that, that's right. Oh, really? <laughs> You've been in the parking lot. What? What did I say? <laughs> well, slow down. I love that man. He got you in front row seat. At least it's good for a show. See, young, how old are you? How old are you right now? How old are you? 34. You see, you're still young, man. You got, you know, see, my mom, my mom's generation, they know how they, they know how to work. My mom worked my dad. My mom know how to get my dad put patio in, build a guest room. They know how to work a brother back in the day. My dad was like a slave. You need to put that roof up. She look at her, my man, my man can do everything. All you do is give us some Kool-Aid. <laughs> work it. Work it. Work, work, work. Because my mom got styled. Young ladies, y'all got to get styled back. Y'all angry. Y'all angry. Y'all angry. Y'all just... <laughs> just mad. Smile sometime. You might have a good man, you just don't know it. You just stay so angry. What, Ladies, what are y'all mad about? Let me help. What are y'all mad about? What? Because we're no good. Every man no good. Every man. See, that's one woman. Every man. You dated everybody? <laughs> or did you miss somebody? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. You dating too many people. Pick one. See what happens. 
Okay, I'm going to go with that. What makes a man no good? I'm going to help ladies out. He lies. That's how you make a relationship stay alive. <laughs> if a man does not lie, the relationship is done because you ask questions that make no sense. So I have to lie. <laughs> if you don't want me to lie, quit asking me questions. You keep asking me questions that you know I have to lie at. Do I look fat? No, no. <laughs> if you wasn't fat, you wouldn't have asked. That's why you asked the question. Skinny people don't say, do I look fat? Skinny people say, do you want to eat? Would you like to have a sandwich? <laughs> she just wants to see how dumb you are when you tell the truth. And men, all you young men, don't you fall for this one. Even if it hurts me, even if it hurts me, tell me the truth. They'll say, how stupid, how stupid is the man I'm with? You lie, lie, lie. Now, I'm not talking about lying about cheating, lying about other women. I'm talking about little things that you have to lie about. All those little things that ask you, all kind of stupid stuff, stupid things. Do, do, do you like this movie? No, I hate the notebook. I hate it. I hate it. It's not even real. It's not real. Women love those kind of movies where she had, she had Alzheimer's and, he, and she didn't know him anymore. And he wrote a book. Remember when I met you? We were riding a bike. In real life, he came to the hospital. Do you know me? No. It sounds wrong, but it's the truth. See, these, these books and all, remember, it's all these, these books and these talk shows that women who don't have a man, all these books and talk shows with women who don't have a man tell you how to lose the man you got because they want you to be just as lonely as they are. Men are so simple, we freak you out. We're so simple, you can't get to it. Men are simple. We're so simple, it bothers you. You don't understand the simpleness of men. Okay, this is how simple a man, this is two men in the car and you make a wrong turn. You, man, <laughs> that's it. You're gonna turn left and come back. That's how simple, that's how. This is you and your wife. Oh God, oh! Why would you turn there? Why? Let's just go home. I don't even wanna go now. I don't even wanna go. The whole night is ruined because I turn left. I can turn back around. No, I, I have a headache now. Men sometimes hurt. This is men. This is what we do to speak up. This is a man acknowledging you. Okay. That means I heard you. But that's not enough for a woman. Okay. Now stay back. Stay back. Say what I said. Oh, now it's an SAT test. I have to pass the test. This is two men having a conversation. Man, you gonna go to the club? Yeah. <laughs> Done. What time? What time will you be there? What? No. If you're, where, what way are you gonna go? Well, how would you get there? If you don't know where it's at, why would you say I'm going to go? You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going. You said yes. You don't even know where you're going. I got a GPS. Don't overcomplicate the situation. Make it simple. What else, ladies? Men on what? Men don't how to find anything. Like what? I found everything I need. I can't find your stuff. I found everything that belonged to me. Except for the one that you moved to a better spot that makes more sense. When you move my shoes to a better spot, because that's the spot you like. What else, ladies? Huh? Snoring. Did he snore when he met you? Did he snore when he met you? He didn't? Well, you sucked the life out of him. He has no air. He had a lot of air when you met him. He used to sleep at night. Now he's... He's just trying to survive the night. He ain't snoring, he's dying. A little bit each night, a little bit. Y'all call it sleep apnea, we call it marriage. There's not a man here that's single with sleep apnea. No, you get sleep apnea from? Men, see young dudes, you know, women hit you in your sleep. A wife will tag you. She'll have a flashback or something, look at you. You'll wake up, what the hell? And she'll lie, something bit me too. Did you get bit? Something bit me too. I think it's a spider, a spider. <laughs> and I want ladies to know something. We, we do go through things with you. We do go through things with you. You don't even understand it. We go through menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. You don't know it, but it is. Because your system is so wacky now. Your temperature system is so wacky. By my bed, I got a parka and some gym trunks. 
because I don't know what temperature is going to be when I come home. And you have to go with whatever she feels. Aren't you freezing? Aren't you freezing? Snow is coming in the window. Oh, yeah, I'm freezing. Time to put on my gym trunks. And then it changes five minutes later. I'm burning up. I'm hot. I'm burning up. Oh, time to put on the other suit. And then you sweat out of nowhere. It's not like sweat like this. It's, I thought she peed on me. So, hey, I'm sweating. And the first time a woman had a heart, hot flash, it looks like a heart attack. <laughs> you okay? Well, I was burning up for a second. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They don't need drugs. They need a bottle of menopause so you can shoot that. <laughs> Something else, ladies. Any other question? Anything else, man? Yes. He's what? He's messy. Okay, that's a woman's, what do you mean messy? My shirt's on the floor? Did the house fall down? Did the children die? <laughs> Did the day go on? Does he work? Does he have a job? Leave the shirt on the ground, it ain't your shirt. <laughs> Why are you stalking him around the house, following him? That's his clothes, those are not your clothes. Look at this, don't bother me, look at that, look at that. Don't bother me, you can't take it. You can't take that. Learn to do this. <laughs> See how free I am? This is you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am sick. I am sick and tired of always picking up everything. But quit picking it up. <laughs> you wearing yourself out. I left that shirt on the floor because I'm going to wear it again tomorrow. It's right where I want it as I go to the door. <laughs> There's a method to the madness. <laughs> what else? Okay, ladies, what else? What else bothers you about us? Because this is your night. The toilet seat. The toilet seat, because you couldn't put it down by yourself. You didn't see it was up. You found the bathroom. How'd you mess the toilet seat up? Did you take your eye off the prize? Is that what you did? Did you, did you get to the door and walk in like this? Oh, I'm almost there now. I guess it's down. I guess it's down. I won't look, because if he loves me, I shouldn't have to look. I shouldn't have to look. It's your butt. You fell in. You should look. He left the seat up because he loves you. Women don't even understand that. If the seat is up, it means I didn't pee on it. That's the best gift I can give you. If the seat is up, it means it's safe for you to sit down. If you ever walk in the bathroom and the seat is down, don't you trust it. You might stick. Yes, huh? Night humping. Night humping. It's called sleeping. So he humps you at night. If you give him some sex, he quit humping you. <laughs> Just give him some sex a little bit. He didn't want a lot. Matter of fact, if you get naked, he might freak. He hadn't had some so long. <laughs> wait, 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 what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. I'm just humping. Why are you getting naked? <laughs> see, know what you do to make a man stop doing stuff? Do what he's asking for. Men, see, that's how men are. You want to freak him out? Next time, when you get in bed, just get in bed naked. Come on, boy, come on. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'll scare him. You forgot how to use your technique. Men act like they want stuff, as soon as you do it. Well, I wasn't ready for that. He'll scare him. He'll be in the living room. I hope she sleeps. I'm still here. Oh, man. Isn't it funny how the whole sex thing changes once you get married? For the first three or four years, you have sex. Then you got to work. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. It's a trade. It's a trade. They'll come in naked. I'll give you some if you fix something. <laughs> I'll fix the light. <laughs> you got to trade out. You start taking rain checks. You don't, so you date. It's all sexy. You think, what's she doing? What's she, what's she, what's she doing? We get married. You want to do something? Well, it's Tuesday. I wish you had said something earlier. I didn't. We usually do stuff on Thursday. I didn't know we were going to. Then I need to set some DVRs. I can't. We got to tape our shows. Can't miss our shows. <laughs> get off schedule. We can't get off schedule. And then once you have a baby, all the sex stops. 
Women freak out. Some of women wants to have babies, like they don't want the baby to know they was freaky. The baby will see. The baby's a month old. Men can have sex with a baby looking right at him. <laughs> Who's your daddy? I'm everybody's dad. I'm your daddy, I'm her daddy. I'm everybody's dad. <laughs> Women freak out on that stuff. Some of y'all got kids at your house, man, that messed up your love life. They messed up your love life. Shh, shh, the kids will come in. Shh, shh. Get them to have like static sex, okay? You're moving. No, no, I swear I'm not moving. I got asthma. I was breathing. It's your house. Those kids don't pay for nothing. Take your house back. Don't have quiet sex. Keep the door open. Be loud. They'll only come in once. And they'll never come back. Now you got your house back. That's what you do. Now I'm gonna help y'all. Who got grown folks at the house? I'm gonna help you. Who got grown kids can get out the house? You got grown kids? Grown kids can get out the house? I'm gonna help you. Now they're gonna be damaged. This is gonna jack them up. But they will leave your house tonight. You and your husband walk around naked and have sex. <laughs> Grown kids can't take their parents having sex. It freaks them out. While they're eating breakfast, coming in naked into the kitchen. How long are you gonna be here? We're gonna use that table. Oh, God, daddy. That's nasty, daddy. Smack your wife on the butt. Your mama's a freak. They will run out of your house. Oh. We are, we are what we are, we can't help it. And then we get into relationships and things change. You get in relationships, that's why I tell people, before you have kids, travel, see the world. When you first get together, go places. Because once you have children, you're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese, that's all you're going. That's your Europe, that's your France, that's your, that's your Bermuda, Chuck E. Cheese. There's people here who are over 50 with no kids, they don't look old. Look at people with no kids, no wrinkles. They just sit there, oh my God, we're going, we're going to Jamaica next week. And people with kids, you don't know the joy. You don't, you don't know the joy. Trying to make you have kids. You need some kids. Look how happy I am. Shut up. Because kids change everything. 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 Where are my people in their 20s? Where are my people in their 20s? In the 20s? Leave your house. Move out. Move out. I know times are tight. Don't move back to save money. That's how we save money, with you out. <laughs> as soon as times get tight, y'all come back. It's tough out here. I got I to gotta regroup. We're trying to regroup, too. Don't let your kids back house crack the door. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Mama, it's me. I know. I know. I see you. I'm going to tell your dad you're here. Jennifer's here. Back up. Back up. We're going to come out and talk to you. Back up. It's crazy, man. And y'all move back home and you pissed off. Mad, you don't even have to be there. They hate it here. You're supposed to. I get my parents. I understand my mother and dad now. I got, I, I see why they, they made our life so hard when we were young. They want you to hate it so much, you say stuff. They can't wait to go. There you go. I'm gonna help you. And kids are mad now, they don't have chores. Don't a chore now, clean your room. There ain't no chore, you live there. You're supposed to, chores, like my dad had chores, like help me put in a hot water heater, I'm eight years old. Don't you drop it on me. Don't you drop that hot water heater on me. That's how you learn stuff. Then he, he taught me about gas, like the pilot, like took the eyebrow off. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? My father didn't put no sockets in the, in the plugs. He didn't have no little sockets in the wall. He said, take this knife, stick it in there. That's called electricity. And I bet you won't do that again. Now show your little brother, show your little brother. That's how you learn stuff. <laughs> Man. It's just, it's just crazy. Being a parent, I tell, tell young people, man, cut your parents some slack. Because you're going to be just as jacked up. I know you think you're going to be a better parent. I know all y'all, I can't wait to be a parent. No, we can't wait either. We hope you have kids so your life sucks just like us. <laughs> we can't wait for you to have kids. So that one time you come to the house, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't bring them here. I already had one just like him. I don't need another one. How many of y'all grandparents? How many of y'all grandparents in here? 
They try to drop the kids, they try to drop the grandkids at your house like you want that. They show up like this, we're so worn out, we just want to go have a dinner. Can you watch them? Oh, next time they do that? Okay, watch them. Give them some Red Bull, some cotton candy, fire that child up. Have that child hot. When they come to get them, mama, 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 mama. Mama, grandma, 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 grandma. I bet you won't bring them here no more. You'll have ADD, ADD when you get out of here. Now, what, what is it? Every, every kid got ADD. Every kid. Every kid got ADD now. Oh, he got ADD. All he did was stand up. Oh, oh, he's got ADD. What did he do? He stood up. No kid stands up in this class. If they play outside, they wouldn't have no ADD. They wouldn't have it. They wouldn't have it. Go outside. It gets all that out of you. My father, I had ADD. There's no name for it. They had a different name. Run around this house again. Run around this house one more time like you lost your mind. Now sit down. Quit shaking. Get your stuff together, boy. He cured me of my ADD with no drug so I could exist in society. <laughs> Oh man, I'm telling you, dude, it's just, it's just, it's just, we, we, we overcoddle our kids, we give them too much, and then we wonder what's wrong with them. We jack them up, and then we say, what's wrong with you? We jack them up and say, what's wrong with you? I'm jacked up, I'm jacked up. <laughs> kids turn 16 like that means you're supposed to get a car. Kids turn 16 like, I'm 16, that's good. If I have a heart attack, you get me out the way, and you drive me to the hospital. Because that's the only way you're going to drive my car at 16. <laughs> and they don't just want a car, they want a car that's new. If it's older than two years old, oh, that's three years old. Now, I was coming up, it was in the last 15 years. That's a new car. If it was in that last century, that's a good car. You don't need all the doors. Somebody got to hang on. <laughs> oh. They get an attitude that you like, you're supposed to be mad because they're going to walk. I'll just walk, okay? But know what y'all do? No, no, I'll take you. I ain't getting up because you made the team. You shouldn't have ran so fast. <laughs> How many of y'all dread when your kids make a team? You made the team, damn. That's football and basketball. I ain't gonna sleep to June. How many of y'all got little kids you be in a tournament and you hope he, he missed the last shot? Don't make it, don't make it, don't make it, don't make it. Whoa! Oh, we so sad y'all lost. But we gonna sleep next week. And you a bad parent because you forgot it was your snack day. It's your snack day and you didn't bring snacks. You supposed to bring snacks. He didn't bring snacks. Y'all lost, you don't need no snacks. You need to go home. And now every kid gets an award. Someone got to suck, that's what makes you stronger. Someone got to suck. They got a trophy for everybody. They got a trophy called, you try hard, you try hard. That means you suck. You try hard, just a try hard award. We have a special award for Johnny. Johnny can't run or shoot, he's no good, he's he clumsy. But he, I wish I had nine of him. I wish I had nine Johnny. No you don't. You want one LeBron and 20 of him, you don't care. There's no I in team, oh <laughs> yeah. You hope you got an I. There's me. Think about it. people, all this stuff is so fake about sports. We just want, you know, I just want good teamwork. No, you want somebody 6'9 to jump out the gym. Because you want your team to win, don't you? You want your team to win. There's not one family here. Our team is not that good, but they all graduated. They're smart and they're good people. You need to find a dumb one that can play. So y'all can win some games. A lot of you women make mistakes trying to be a best friend with your kids. Your kids ain't your best friend. Your best friend can't be seven. <laughs> and some of you ladies talk about, people think me and my daughter are sisters. Oh, that's every daughter's dream to look like a 55-year-old mama. <laughs> she gonna need therapy all her life. Let yourself get old. Let yourself get old. Give your child a chance. All this surgery losing your mind. Even if you look good, because women, women 40, 50, 60, y'all working out, y'all look good, but you can't wear them pants to say juicy. Stop that. <laughs> you 60 years old, take them pants off and give them back to your grandchild. I'm juicy, I'm juicy. I'm still juicy. And some of y'all trying to put your butt in the pants, you can't even see the letters. I saw you, I. I thought it was you, E. The J was over here, oh, oh, oh. Oh, juicy, I thought you, E. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was a university. Some of the letters was missing, they were on the side. All this surgery doesn't fool anybody. Ladies, you earned being old. You earned it. Let your head go. You've earned it. You've earned it. Be sexy. 
I'm gonna get my breast lifted. I'm gonna get my breast lifted. You earned it. Drop them. Put them in your pockets. <laughs> Four player, hide them from your husband. Where are they? <laughs> you put them in your back pocket. I can't even find them this time. <laughs> Fold them up. <laughs> You've earned it. Ain't nothing wrong. That's sexy still. Everybody's so worried about being sexy. Get that face, that, man, when you get that face lift, everybody know you just look old and tight. Oh, you look so good. Putting all that collagen in your lips. Everybody supposed to have big lips? If you got a little lip face, you gotta have little lips. Look like somebody punched in your face. Who told women that was sexy? Men don't want that big lip coming at them like that. And then some women try to save money. They suck the butt fat out their butt and they put it in their lips. So they get two for one. They suck the butt fat out. So now your body all confused. You don't know what to do. Girl, I'm tired. I got to sit down. Your body parts don't know what to do. You're all jacked up. You get gas, girl. I got gas. Man. Falling apart, man. All I do is go to rehab. I rehab. Sometimes you just let something break. I'm so tired of rehab. I just let stuff break. I just have a bad hand. I don't care. You don't need. I find you don't need all your body parts. As long as you got one strong one, you can drag the other one. It becomes your walk. That's your old man walk. I don't run anywhere. I ain't never gonna run again in my life. I got a better chance a car hitting me than me trying to run. I try to run, my body like, give him a heart attack, he's trying to run. I got that little fake run, I get one step off. I got one move, that's, that's why I gotta wait till the car almost get to me. I gotta time it just right. Stuff start pulling, you pull your, I have to pull a hamstring, I pull the groin, there's a muscle in the butt called a piriformis muscle. You won't learn about it until you get old. When you get old, it's only the size of a walnut. It's the size of a walnut, and it, you get sciatic. It goes from the neck down to the back of your knee. You'll be standing somewhere. So young people are like this, what is that? Keep on living. <laughs> Keep on living, you'll find out. And it won't go out when you're doing something strenuous. You'll be washing your face. trying to push that button, the button don't push. <laughs> Getting old is a trip. I want to apologize to all the older people. I used to laugh at y'all. <laughs> it was not your fault. I get it now, I get it. I get it. I get it why when the light turned green, because you got to warm up, you can't just jump in the street. You got to be like. Because <laughs> you've been standing too long, you tighten up. Getting the knee replaced is no joke. Getting the knee replaced. Get, anybody had a knee replaced? Have a knee replaced? Had a knee replaced? Dude, I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't believe in drugs till I got my knee replaced. There's, God put drugs in for a reason. In small amounts, you should be able to have some. Darwin said, I keep two at all times. I was so high. They had me on the intravenous. They said it was like seven times more powerful than morphine. They had it stuck in me, a drip. I woke up, I was like, I said, I can leave today. I feel so good. Now I see why people who are junkies move their fingers a lot. I was like. <laughs> I was so messed up, I had a catheter in me, I didn't know. I looked at my wife, I ain't peed in five days. <laughs> so yes, you did, where, where? I thought it was a tube that was feeding me. I thought they had wrapped it around my leg. I was gonna show my daughter, look what they got. My wife jumped to me, hey. <laughs> and then they make you leave. The next day, they want that hospital bed. The next day, I'm laying there, I just had my knee replaced. So how you feel, you feel like walking today? I was like, I don't know, I don't think I should go home yet. And all you people working at the hospital, all you nurses and doctors, when people are clicking for medication, I ain't playing. Bring some. I ain't playing with you. I hear you out to the nurse station, there you go again. Mr. Clicky, here come Mr. Clicky. That's why you gotta be with a woman in her 50s. She always got medication. 
Women in the 50s always got some Vicodin. They always, they got some hidden in a search or suppressed box. It's not in regular medication boxes. And they always lie to you, this is my last one. I know you got more. No, this is my last. Just enough for me, I had just enough for me. Stingy with the drugs. Now in California, everybody get a medical marijuana. Everybody got, everybody got, look at, look at him, see here. Yeah. They can't, they can't legalize. See this thing about marijuana, people go, well marijuana's, marijuana's not a drug, it just makes you feel good. Have you ever seen somebody smoke dope? You ever been around a room, everybody high? They talk about what we gonna do, it never get done. Man, man, we gonna start a production. We gonna do a production come, ha 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 ha. Don't nothing get done, cause you couldn't find a pen. Somebody get a pen, write this down. They don't have no pen, ain't no more pens. One thing that'll never happen to you, you'll never get carjacked by somebody smoking dope. A crack addict will try to carjack you. A heroin addict will try to jack you. See, a, car, a crack addict will try to carjack you with nothing. Hey! <laughs> Dude, you gotta do something. You gotta bring something. <laughs> They're so messed up, they'll just try. You'll never get carjacked by somebody smoking dope. Dude. Wait, man, where you go? Wait. <laughs> wait, let me have those Cheetos. If you drink, don't go to the zoo because you do dumb stuff. They need to quit serving alcohol at the zoo. There's always some drunk person jumping in with a line. That's beyond alcohol. You must have cut that with something else. And your friends, they're not supposed to drink with you. Somebody got to be sober. Hey, John, that's a lion. I know. <laughs> you ever see the pictures when they show people jumping in with the animals? The animals like this. Oh, he must be messed up because they don't attack right away. They're like, did he just jump over this fence here? I'm gonna give him 30 seconds to leave. I gotta bite him, I gotta rep, I got to attack him. Other folks be jumping, all kind of monkeys be jumping up in here. <laughs> they, have, they have this video, if you go on YouTube, called Christian the Lion. And they got Whitney Houston playing, saying, I always love you. It's about a dude, they, him and his, See, we never black folks. You know, all these black people in Africa, we never go look for the lions. We take you to them when we stand outside the cave. He's in there. <laughs> we stand outside with a gun. If he comes out, he's a dead lion. <laughs> oh, no, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. It was my fault. I walked up on him. I'm going to shoot both of y'all. <laughs> you brought him out the cave to me. They raised this little lion called Christian. They show him he's running in slow motion. He's running with the lion and kicking the ball. And now the lion, they released him out to the pride. And now he's with his wife. And his wife has never met the people. And they said, we want to find him and see if he still knows us. And they said, you want to look for the lion and his wife who don't know you? Yes. They made him sign papers. Well, if you die, it ain't on us. We need our money up front right now. So they're walking with a stick. And Whitney used to, she's singing. And Whitney, this lion says, what the hell? And then it freaked me out. Go look at it. The lion runs at him and jumps up on him and hugs him in a bear hug. Hugs him in a bear hug. And his wife like this. Are we gonna kill this one? <laughs> the wife came over. They're hugging. They're rubbing the wife. They're hugging and playing the lion like this. I mean, I've been wondering where you at. I mean, I've been wondering where you at. I'm out here with these lions. I can't find you. And I'm like this. That's the dumbest thing. People were crying. I ain't crying. That's a fool. Because it could have been a whole different video. Who the hell is that? I don't know. He keeps shouting my name, Christian. <laughs> he stood there like this. It could have been whack. <laughs> and a head would have rolled down the pride. <laughs> I don't go on safaris in Africa. I'm not going on safari. There's a reason those animals live out there. You see animals in the truck coming through neighborhoods. The people live here. <laughs> They're dangerous. If you see them coming outside, where I live, I got enough animals. We got mountain lions, we got bobcats, we got black widow spiders, we got rattlesnakes. See, as soon as we leave the neighborhood, black folks, we want to move out to the suburbs, there's a whole new kind of animal we got to deal with. Well, I'm going to get out the hood, I'm going to live with nature. I'm going to live with nature. And you got to respect nature. Re nature will respect you. No, it don't. Sometimes it be hiding in the kitchen. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> this fool thought he was raising a baby cat, a bobcat. He thought he found a cat. It was a bobcat he found. And he was feeding the cat, you know, milk and stuff, and the cat was like this, I need a sandwich. <laughs> so he was giving the cat food. I think it was the, uh, the Michelle Ray, she Rachel Ray, the Rachel Ray cat food, they had the Rachel Ray cat food. And he, the cat snatched the hamburger from him. So he said, oh, you don't take it. And he scratched my man's face up. 
and then the fireman came out. It's a bobcat. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, it's deep. <laughs> you know you got a hamburger and a cat go, ah. <laughs> when you got meat and the cat go, ah. <laughs> you want some of this? Ah. <laughs> Drop it and run. <laughs> some stuff you're not supposed to have. Like little dogs that fit in your purse in your pocket. <laughs> That's not a dog. We got one, we got a chihuahua. My wife found a chihuahua, we saved it from a parking lot. <laughs> Whenever you see a dog in a parking lot, somebody put that dog there for a reason, there's a reason. When you go to the dog pound, I mean, that sounds good to save an animal from a dog pound. There's a reason people let them dogs go, because they're crazy. There's a reason, there's a reason you let them dogs go. And they fake it, because they know they're about to die. So when you go to the dog pound, they're like this, hey, what's up, hey, 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 hey. Do we get them home? Oh, dude, you know, I'm gonna check out. Dude, I got an issue. I got this dog, we don't know what it is. It's mixed with everything. It's a child, German Shepherd ch puppy. I don't know what it is. I've had it for eight years. It still don't know me. It still doesn't know me. I come home, oh, oh it's you, my bad. Oh, oh, it's you, my bad. Oh. That's a new shirt, that's a new shirt, that's a new shirt. I tried to take him back. You know what they told me? There's an animal psychologist. Oh no, if I ain't seen the shrink, the dog ain't gonna see one. The dog can't go first. Somebody else in the house got to go first. Not the dog. I can't pay that kind of money. What? How's he feeling? He's very angry <laughs> at you. He's very angry at you. Well, then tell him I'm going to take him outside and leave him outside. And dogs that have been put out of the car, they don't fall for that twice. <laughs> you try to take a dog to the woods? Oh, hell no. You can get out. I ain't getting out the car. Man, we live, in, we live in this country now. Everybody going through all this immigration issue, talking about sending people away. How are you going to leave and live here 20 years? I'm like, I'm, I'm going through, I'm looking at stuff and people talk about immigration. We got all these people from other countries. Everybody from another country. Did you forget where you came from? We're going to get rid of all the immigrants. There'll be four Indians left. That's all you're going to have. You're going to do immigration, then do it. Get everybody out. Let's start all over again. I ain't going nowhere. I don't know. I, if I go to Africa, look at me in Africa. What tribe are you from? How you? Me and you, we own tribe. <laughs> you got green eyes, you can't be in the tribe. <laughs> and this is it. See, Americans are just mad because we can't speak any other languages. We're supposed to be an intelligent country. We can't speak to nobody. We're just mad that people come here and can speak other languages. You go to a third world country, you don't care to speak two and three languages. Americans can't speak nothing. We go to other countries mad. Can somebody speak English? <laughs> These are some stupid people. <laughs> Oh, man, you the fool, you in Europe. Hello, hello, hello. Where's the McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> you gotta be careful you go to McDonald's in other countries. They don't have no cows, they got kangaroos and roosters. I don't see no possums here. Oh, yes, you did. That 10 piece McNugget you just had. <laughs> Oh, man, it's crazy. And then this is, what, this, is what, this is what American people do. When we can't speak another language, we speak a dumber version of English. <laughs> Where are my Spanish people at? I love my Spanish people. Don't you love when somebody tries to speak Spanish to you? Uh, you are, uh, you are uh, helping me? You are, uh, uh, you, can you, uh, can you uh, understand? Uh, can you, uh, can you uh, help me? Can you, uh... oh, that's much better. <laughs> now I'm right down with you. You better learn to speak another language. You better learn Spanish. You better learn Spanish. You live in this country. Don't fight it no more. You better learn it. The day is coming, you'll be standing in line. Can somebody help me, please? <laughs> Tell you, man, we should be able to, man. Our kids should be learning all kinds of stuff. This is a metropolitan area, man. I'm sorry, I know it started off and you were slaves. I'm, I'm sorry we got free, but you should have fought a little harder during the war. <laughs> we got loose, my bad. We got loose. <laughs> some of y'all lost jobs, some of y'all, see, older people, see, the American way, so young people, y'all understand, what you went to school for, you got nothing to do with nothing. Forget what your scholarship was, forget what your degree was in, you better learn the American way. Lie on the resume, you lie. <laughs> and you learn on the job. You learn when you get there. Can you well? Well, yeah! That's <laughs> how so I got my first welding job. Well, I've been well, my daddy taught me how to weld. I didn't realize you can't wear shorts. <laughs> my first day there, whoo, 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 whoo! And the old man looked at me laughing. <laughs> Boy, you can't well, you should have said something earlier. But I got that job. I'll get a job. I ain't worried. I will get a job. I will find myself a job. 
And I ain't gonna even apply. I'm just gonna get a badge and show up. Can I help you? <laughs> what are you doing? I got a job. I work here now. <laughs> Sir, I work here now. You gotta let somebody go. This is my job. <laughs> you gotta make people think you're so crazy they won't fire you. Just, that's how you get job security, not by being a good employee. You gotta be the employee they think will come back at night with a mask <laughs> and kill everybody in the parking lot. That's how you keep a job in America. Every once in a while, I just walk around. Man, if they let me go, I think I'll kill everybody up in here. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Sinbad, no one's getting laid off. Sinbad, Sinbad, no one's getting laid off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the plant will close. I'll be still working. <laughs> Man, remember before that? Now, I, look, I, I like, I ain't gonna lie, I like technology. I like my texting, but it has, there is a limit. Young people text each other, stand right next to each other. <laughs> Speak! <laughs> Speak! Did you get my text? <laughs> God, man. I want to help my young people. Any teenagers? No teenagers here, right? Teenagers? Teenagers here? Hold you, hold you, man. What, what, okay, what, what? Because I know you're with your family, right? Because you don't have a car. I, I can tell, I can see in your eyes, you got that look. I know it sucks, it sucks, man. You're 17, you don't have no car? You got a car, but you don't want to drive a hit, or did you? Because the valet parking there saw you. <laughs> Whose car is this? Because <laughs> LA put pressure on you, man. I didn't know I had a little hoopty when I first got here. All these Mercedes was pulling up and being nice. The man brought mine up. I said, take it over there, take it over there, take it over there, take it over there. <laughs> Can't get in this car in front of all these people. Now, 53, so this is different. You're 17, 53, I don't care. They can bring up a skateboard. Catch y'all later. <laughs> See, at 53, you ain't trying to make new friends. I'm trying to get rid of people. <laughs> the older you get, the less people you need in your life. You don't need, ain't nobody got 100 friends, my face and Facebook. Nobody got 100 friends. Two. You just need two people to check on you if they ain't seen you to see you have a stroke. They come to your house and look through the window. <laughs> That's all you need is two people to call 911. That's all you need. See, when you're young and somebody shows up at your house unexpected, man, what's up, old oh, man, what are you doing? When you're 50 years old and the doorbell rings at 6 o'clock, bing bong, who the hell? <laughs> it's 6.30. Who the hell comes to somebody's house at 6.30? <laughs> what? <laughs> when we're in the neighborhood, we'll drive around and look at it. <laughs> we're about to go to sleep. <laughs> man, dude, I was just 17 last week. It goes fast, man. Dude, it goes fast. I'm serious, man. Enjoy this. It goes quick. Dude, I used to, I could outhang you. I could hang. Now I can't sleep because I got to go to the bathroom, but that's different. I got to stay up for reasons, for personal reasons. I don't know when I started getting tired. Everybody here, anybody here over 35, 40, remember you, you sit there, it's like 9 o'clock at night, and you look at your wife, oh, it's 9.30. Wait, did the day go? It's 9.30. And you talk about that for an hour. It's 9.30. We better go to bed and get out these clothes. So you're young, you just jump out the clothes. You got it takes time. <laughs> Could you get that button for me? My hand, my hand's locked up. <laughs> you help me to the dress. Get my shoe. Can you get my shoe? <laughs> it's swollen up. I can't get it off. I told you to get it off earlier. <laughs> you can't go to dinner at seven. You can't. Well, that's crazy. You're trying to go to dinner at seven? Well, it's gonna be nine o'clock by the time we get back. <laughs> you already tired before you leave? Oh God. It's already seven. By the time we get there, it'll be seven, seven thirty, seven forty-five. <laughs> You don't wear yourself out trying to get to the car. <laughs> How many times have you dressed up to go out and you mess up and sit down? You still want to go? <laughs> I done sat down now. I don't need to go. You're the two best dressed people looking at the closer. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go. I'm glad too. I thought you wanted to go. I never want to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. You said you got a girlfriend? You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You said you ain't ready. You ain't ready to have a woman. You ain't nowhere near ready to have a woman. You ain't ready. You ain't ready for another 20, 30 years. <laughs> you in training right now. You don't know nothing. You 17, you don't know jack. I know you think you look at your parents, I'm 17, mom! I'm 17! And we laugh at you. <laughs> Because you can't do nothing. Think about 17, you've been driving for a year, you still hit stuff. <laughs> you know, you, you make dumb decisions. We were racing, we were racing on a curve. Why were you doing it? I don't know. 
And you don't want to know why we think you're crazy. Because you got too much testosterone. That's what's wrong with you. You like everything. That's why you can't dig yet. At 17, you're like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh. 17, you like everything. Your grandma cute. Your grandma look good. At 17, if a grandma got some legs, you getting that number. I don't know, man. It's just that, I mean, look, I think we make life harder what it is. I think we make our life hard. We make our jobs hard. We, do, we make life hard. It don't have to be hard. It don't have to be this hard. It don't have to be hard. It doesn't. At your job, you ain't gotta lose your temper. They ain't gonna fire you. There's nobody trained. There's nobody can do your job. The customer is not always right. Sometimes he's stupid. You gotta shut him down. Shut him down. I hate dumb customers. Excuse me, can you help me? No. It's a quarter to five. I've been done for 20 minutes. I hate, I hated working retail. I hate, I got fired from every job I had. This is the only job I ever kept. I'm not good with people. I'm not good nine to five. It's not, I can't, it's so much pressure to be there all day and people keep coming up to you. Can you, can you help me? No, I can't help you. Do you have this in blue? Well, let me look. No. Well, do you have it in the back? Well, if I go in the back, I'm on break. And you'll never know anyway. Who's got a job they got to deal with folks? Who got to deal with people? Got a job, got to deal with people, got to deal with people. What do you do? Your firefighter, oh God, y'all had, you know what? Y'all had some fires, y'all fought this. Y'all, God bless y'all. God bless y'all, I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how you do it. I do not know. I was gonna play a fireman in a movie, so they let me ride on the truck with them. I was burning up a block away. Y'all were, uh, my eyebrows came off. I was a block away, I said, y'all gotta let me get off this truck. Y'all like this, we ain't close yet. We're not into the heat. I was melting, my skin was melting. I don't know how y'all do it. See, I'm not that dedicated, I know me. I'm not a hero, I'm not built that way. If your cat's in the house, my cat's inside. We're not long. <laughs> oh, there he goes now. I ain't going in to get your cat. <laughs> he should have got out. The dog made it. <laughs> and people always talk about the animal was a hero. A dog saved the family. That dog tried to get out. The door was shut. That's when he went back and got the family. That dog went to the door. Oh, shoot. Burr, 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 burr. Thank you. Just open the door. Sparky, save the Sparky, save the. If you left that door open, y'all wouldn't have woke up on this one. I'd have just moved next door with the neighbors. I like them. <laughs> huh? What do you say, man? Love you. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Love y'all too, man. Oh. Wow. I'm not one of those adventure seekers. I ain't no thrill seekers. See, this is what happens. See, Black people start making money and want to do stuff we didn't never do. Want to climb mountains. It's right there. You ain't got to climb it. You got a house. Why you got to go outside and climb a rock? It don't make no sense. Because it's there. See, when black people die falling off mountains, black people go like this. What the hell was he doing? He was on a mountain? What was up there? Nothing. He climbed up there. He had a rope climbed up there. For what? You know he about Poland. We go to funerals, just look at you. Look at him, he was so stupid. <laughs> on a mountain, he was on a mountain? I had these dudes convince me to bungee jump out of a hot air balloon. I'm in a hot air balloon, and one he jumped over, ooh, ooh. Then I just thought, I'm in a hot air balloon. Forget the bungee jumping. Why am I in a hot air balloon? All they had was some fire. I have my cigarette lighter. We gonna let this go down. Say, man, you jump. No, y'all gonna take me down. <laughs> You're not supposed to do everything. My daughter convinced us to jump out of the airplane for her birthday. My daughter said, I wanna jump out of, I wanna jump out of the airplane. And I had just read about a girl who jumped out the airplane the week before and her parachute didn't open. And she lived. See, that's what happens when you don't learn nothing. She lived, she hit the ground. You remember you read about that? She hit the ground and she got up. Oh, God. <laughs> and went back again the next day. That was God saying, why the hell I let you live? I kept the shoe closed so you wouldn't do this no more. And I'm trying to be cool like I wasn't scared. You can't, you think the thing. And it's a tandem jump. So this dude is right on the back of me. I'm like, and I'm like this. So it's kind of freaky already. Stupid stuff. Who, where my skydive? We got skydivers here? Skydive? Y'all skydive? Why? 
Tell me why you skydive. Why not? Why not? Well, why don't you just burn yourself? See what that feel like. <laughs> There's a fireman should take you on the next ride. <laughs> Run through the house, see if you can get out. <laughs> see, if you say why not, that applies to everything. Why don't I jump off a mountain with just a towel <laughs> and see if I make it? Why not? That's why not. Because your towel didn't work. <laughs> No, no, I want to do, I want to do, I want to do something for y'all. I want to do something for you. Like, you know what? We got young people here. I mean, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for that. Y'all don't, y'all not gonna handle music when y'all 50. So I want to do something. I know, I know, I don't know. See, I'm 53. I still go with the Playboy Jazz. Cause we still got groups. I mean, they're getting old, but they still sing. I mean, they can't move like they used to. They be like. I look at young people, y'all and you're 17. Who you gonna look at when you're 50? Who will you go see? Britney Spears? The Jonas brother? I hate, I hate. That ain't right. They're God's children. I hate them so much, I hate them. They moved Stevie Wonder's microphone during the Grammys. Did y'all watch that? The Jonas, Stevie was trying to sing. They took the mic, sing Stevie, Stevie said. Who took my mic? They was running around, Stevie, running around, Stevie, show him what you got. He got Grammys, fool. That's what Stevie got. What you got? Yeah. So I don't know, I don't know who y'all gonna, who y'all gonna see when y'all 50. Kanye, man, Kanye, no, man, no, I'll be done. Huh? Who? Metallica. Yeah, they might, yeah, they still might, because they won't die. They just, Metallica, but see, Metallica's about 40 now, aren't they? See, they're still about 40 now. I'm talking about like people that's 20. Who? Beyonce? Uh-uh. Beyonce, man, she gonna make too much money. She gonna be singing at 50. No. So my thing is, I don't know who y'all gonna watch. Y'all gonna have one. Who? Jay-Z? Yeah. Ain't no 75-year-old rappers doing concert. When's the last... When's the last time you seen... How y'all doing tonight? Huh? Everybody gonna get low? Y'all ready to get low, low? Everybody get low, low. You already gonna be low. You ain't gotta get low. Drop it like it's hot. It fell on its own. It fell off. <laughs> it fell down what it did. So I want to do what I want to do for y'all tonight is something special because some of y'all never seen an instrument. <laughs> I know some of y'all freaking out. What is that? Is that an 808? Is that an 808? No, it's a drum. <laughs> so I want to do, I've, I've been blessed. This, see, this, 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 this group here is one of the baddest, some, some of the baddest musicians and singers. And I want y'all to get a chance once in your lifetime. So you say, I saw music once when I was 17. <laughs> It was incredible. Not American Idol like, but real like. <laughs> and I'm gonna put myself in line. I'm, I've only been playing guitar for four months. I figured since can't nobody sing and they try out for American Idol, I'm gonna sing. I can't sing and they can't sing. So we equal. <laughs> can't nobody play, I can't play. So I'm gonna play. I equal everybody now, huh? Yeah. Do for Ben Harbor, do for Ben Harbor. So I wanna do something special. I wanna bring some music out for y'all to see real music. So I can bring out, I'm gonna put one of the baddest bands led by Greg Filling Games. Greg, bring this band out here. We gonna, we gonna try to do something. Something to help y'all. Just to help y'all. You gotta have a hat. You got a hat? You have a hat. Because if you sing, you gotta have a hat. Thank you very much. I'd like you to thank. I'd like you to. See, you talk different. I want to thank my man here. <laughs> thank you so much. How y'all doing? See, man, as long as you can play something, you'll never be homeless. Some woman will feel sorry for you. He's so good. He's so talented, mama. He's talented. You can suck, but as long as you got a guitar. See? <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you, Nokia Theater, how y'all doing? Thank you so much. Can I have a little bit more on my mic? Testing one, testing one, testing one. Testing one, thank you so much. Can somebody bring me my guitar, please? Somebody, please. Yeah, we've been on the road uh, for about, we've been traveling now with this, our 13th year together, 13th year together. And uh, thank you so much. I apologize for the apology. This is my morning, Ezekiel James Wilson, the light-skinned brother. Those pebbles didn't do nothing, but I just wanted to step on them. I should have practiced standing up. I've been practicing for three weeks sitting down. 
I'll stand up by standing. Okay, you see the string. Yeah. It's a different thing when they're standing up. You gotta... Now I know why they be rocking out like this. We ain't playing because we love it. We ain't playing because we love it. Love it. Thank you very much, my brother. I'm from Zimbabwe. First time in your country. I'm loving it, loving all your people. And I think, I think, you know, I think they're ready for some, uh, I think they can do some funk, some old school funk. What do you think? I think they can do some old, I think y'all have earned some old school funk. Y'all want some, now we gonna do this, y'all gonna get with us? Y'all gonna get with us? You think they're ready for it, Jimmy? Go ahead, do it.
Y'all know this, y'all know this? Because I don't understand a word Larry Blackman was saying. So y'all gonna have to help me sing this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We start to come up your word. Down here, the ladies around the world, they got a way that they can show you that you all the boys and girls. Thank you.